Hello and welcome to the 30th PHP tutorial. Um, so now that we know how to do a few things with um, the database, I thought I would show you guys maybe a little quick script doing something with it. And so we're going to make a, a form where the user can just say, like it's going to say, what's your name? They'll put in their name if they're in the database, then it's going to reference that name and it's going to return back to them what their age is. So with that, um, Let's go ahead and build this form. Of course, it's uh, first it's going to ask them their name. So within strong tags, it's going to say name. And then we're going to make a break here and put the, uh, the form below. So we're going to have a form action will just equal PHP tutorials uh, PHP. The method we'll be using is post. And the form will be a text area. The name will just say the name the name is going to be name because it's what the, the user is inputting is their name. Um, rows, we're just going to make it uh, one one and then columns when we'll make it ten, so it kind of fits a name. And then uh, we'll have a couple breaks. And then we're going to have a submit button for this form. So that's going to be, um, oh wait, we never closed off this text area. So text area. Okay. Now we want to have input and the type is going to be equal to submit and the value like the title of that button will be submit and then finally let's close off this form so now we've got a form let's uh, build the handler for this form so as usual uh, we're gonna have uh, like like before if and then is set and then we're gonna do uh, post and if it's been posted the name which is this uh, text area then what do we want to do uh, with this data so we're going to define the text as what was posted so whatever was put within our um, box so to speak then we want to, we'll just go ahead and echo out their name like we did before. So it'll be hello and then um, uh, text. And then we want to go ahead and append a couple more breaks to this. So break and another break. Now what we want to do if, um, we'll say if that field is not empty, oops, not empty, um, and what is not empty is the text. Close off the if statement. Uh, did we just lose? I think I just lost the. Uh, yeah, somehow along those lines, I, I swear I put it there, but I guess not. Anyway, so if the text is not empty, then what do we want to do? Well, let's specify our query now that we want to perform, and that's going to be select. Uh, age from our table so that'll be from and it was epic table and then where name is equal to whatever our text is and that's going to be our query or what we want to query so now our actual query will be the calling of it with the uh, MySQL query command. So I'm at MySQL underscore query. We want to query the actual SQL there. And then we'll have an or die and uh, we'll just say uh, failed to query. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll just make a while loop even though it's not gonna, uh, it's only gonna return one. But wow. Well, that we want to do this. 
and we're going to say in our while loop, uh, while row equal, and let's space it nicely, equals msql underscore fetch associative array, and that array uh, will be with query. What do we want to do? And we're just going to say age equals dollar sign row. And within that, it was age. And then we want to go ahead and echo uh, your age is. And then, heck, let's just, let's just go all out here. Strong. And then we want to echo the age. And then we'll undo the strong. And then we'll follow with a couple breaks. Close it. And then uh, we should probably finish off this if statement. So we'll come down here and do else. Um, and we'll just echo uh, no text entered. Okay, that ought to do it for us. So let's uh, put that up on the server now. Pop over here and refresh. So here it asks our name. We'll do Harrison. Hopefully it'll return us a 99. Hello, Harrison. Your age is 99. Let's do, I believe we had a Jackie in our database as well. Hello, Jackie. Your age is 55. Now, the last tutorial I discussed, um, I just mentioned the uh, existence of what's called SQL injections. Now, uh, as they say, it's all fun in games until someone gets injected. So this is all fun, but let's figure out what we can do to kind of uh, what's called sanitize uh, what's being submitted here. And it's actually quite simple to do this. So what we'll want to do is when they post, whatever they post, so far we've not accessed the database yet. After we echo the text, then we're going to say if it's not empty, then we want to you know, do stuff with it. So what we ought to do is now we should, at this point I think we'll, we'll just redefine what text means under here after we echo it. So after we've echoed out text, um, or re really, before we even echo the text, we should sanitize the text. So let's go ahead and do that here. So we're going to now redefine the text. So we're going to say text, and it's going to equal um, mysql underscore real underscore escape underscore string, and then uh, the variable within it. Now, a lot of times, it's going to automatically do this for you, depending on, uh, I believe, your version of SQL. Um, but if not, it's a good idea to go ahead and do this. Um, so anyway, and it can't hurt, really. So you want to put in text here. So now the new version of text is going to equal uh, this escaped version of text. And what it's going to do is it's going to escape a whole bunch of characters like double quotes, quotes, like XOO, um, new line, and, all, and a few other things. But for the most part, this is what we're going to, we're looking to get rid of any sort of problematic queries. So um, what we're going to do now is uh, show that. Now, again, with the echo here, um, like I was showing you before with the uh, iframes, you might want to consider you know, the HTML entity stuff. But anyway, um, once we do this, instead of where name equals text, let's do where name equals new text, the sanitized text. So um, we'll leave that other text there. And I think that's all we had to do. We just needed to change that where it queries the database. And just so we know, um, we'll just put some dots there. Dots for suspense, you know? Oh, wait, hold up. Let's save this again. Come back over here. I'm open up a new one. And then let's put in the name uh, Harrison Submit. So it still works, but what if we attempt to put uh, an SQL um, type of query like uh, a um, 
single quote there. Oops, sorry, we didn't. There we go. So as you can see, it's actually escaping that quote because normally that would close off the query, and then someone could you know do some sort of fun stuff. So they could say like uh, where name. Let me just pull this up. You know, they could say like, okay, my name is Harrison. Oops, do this. So my name is Harrison, and uh, and then do this like delete from if they knew the table name they could start saying the table name and then they could just say uh, all or something like that and they can start doing that or there's a bunch of other ways that they can uh, either collect other users information get the entire column of passwords get the entire password column and then get the entire username column and so on so it's just a good idea to go ahead and, and make sure those characters are all escaped so anyway uh, as always thank you for watching thanks for your support your subscriptions and until next time